speaking at an election rally in the city of Nara. This is the moment Japan's former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is attacked. Two gunshots fired from behind. They strike Abe in the back and doctors say the neck. He collapses, his shirt covered in blood. Chaos and confusion as security wrestles the suspect to the ground. And Shinzo Abe airlifted to hospital. Officials say he arrived with no vital signs. He was not breathing, his heart had stopped. Local media reports a male suspect in his 40s has been arrested and that he told police he wanted to kill the former PM. What appears to be a handmade gun was reportedly used in the attack. As Japan's longest serving Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe was a towering figure on the international stage. At home, he orchestrated an ambitious plan to revive the country's ailing economy. Boris Johnson called it incredibly sad news, writing, his global leadership through uncharted times will be remembered by many. My thoughts are with his family, friends and the Japanese people. The UK stands with you at this dark and sad time. Before Abe's death was announced, the US described the former PM as an outstanding leader and unwavering ally. Our thoughts, our prayers are with him family, with the people of Japan. Uh, this is um, a very, very uh, sad moment. As the shock sinks in, there will be questions. How could this happen in one of the safest countries in the world, where until now, political violence on this scale had been almost unthinkable? Nicole Johnston, Sky News.